You moved here just a few years ago. Why'd you make the move? Um, <laughs> lived in a hectic house. But then you lived in a hectic house? <laughs> is that like a trap house in the UK? <laughs> um, what is a hectic house? It was a house share, but the landlord didn't know who was in there. You were squatting. <laughs> you were in somebody else's house and they didn't know you were in there. That's a trap house. <laughs> um, and now you have a not so hectic house. Yeah. You have roommates? No, I live with my boyfriend. You live with your boyfriend? This conversation is over. <laughs> Whatever. Fine, fucking stay in your hectic relationship if you want to. You, your parents? You have children? How old are you? 28. You're 28? 28 and you've got a baby. How old's your kid? Seven. Seven? Holy shit. That's not a baby. That's a roommate. So what's your boyfriend do? Um, he at the moment is stay at home dad. Doesn't have a job. God. So what are you doing to provide for this entire family? You're a singer and you DJ. That's so cool. I've, oh man, I've always, fuck, oh, I wish I could sing. I'd never tell another joke for as long as I lived. <sighs> the acoustics in here are pretty good. <laughs> Should we sing something? <laughs> Do you guys know R. Kelly? <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight. That's how old they were. <laughs> You watching over there, bro? <laughs> you said somebody's breaking into your car? Where are they, at? bro? I'm gonna beat their ass right now. I swear to God. You get like a, a notification on your phone? Yeah, you said something. This is Tesla. What's that? Said something set my alarm. Something set the alarm. Are you parked outside? Yeah. You want to go check? <laughs> do, oh, do you have the Century uh, cameras? Can you turn them on? Yeah. That's what he was watching. Uh, is somebody out there? What's it looking like? <laughs> Can you imagine we roll out there with 300 people and just like, hey, hey, pop the frunk. <laughs> uh, what, what model Tesla you have? You have the Watt? You like? I have the three. You like it? Sometimes I get reminded how well my life is actually going. Because like two months ago, I was, I was in LA and I was driving on the freeway. And I, I was in the driver's seat and, and Alex, who was up here before me, was in the passenger seat. He's like, how you feel, man? I was like, I don't know, man. Things just, sometimes things just don't really, really be going the way that you hope they're going. And, and you know, like, what if, what if this kind of spike in my career just kind of like a flash in the pan, you can't make it last or whatever. And he was like, you realize you haven't touched the steering wheel the whole time? <laughs> I was like, I guess it's going all right. I guess it'll be all right. Yeah. It's getting driven around. <laughs> And then he topped me off, dude. It was fire. <laughs> no hands, you know. You a cop? Really? Yeah, the mustache. That makes sense. So you were actually totally okay with the amount of black people that were here. <laughs> he was like, somebody's breaking into my car. He was like, how's it feel? <laughs> Shots fired. How's it feel? <laughs> if you guys had to guess a crime I'd get arrested for, what, what would it be? <laughs> what did you say? Streaking. Did somebody say soliciting? <laughs> who, who said that? That's prostitution? Come on, get rid of that law, man. Come on. But what's funny is you can do it for free. You just can't be like, here's gas money. <laughs> like, that's... <laughs> gay? Like, gay, gay? Super gay. Super gay. I heard the S. You put four S's in front of super. What's your name, man? Andre. Andre? Yeah. <laughs> You're the first white Andre I've ever met in my entire life. How old are you? 37. Sorry. 30? Yeah, are you 30. serious? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're 37? You look fantastic. Fuck. <laughs> oh, I gotta get gay. <laughs> You look incredible, man. What's the secret? Semen. <laughs> mm. Young dudes? Maybe don't say that. <laughs> What's that? In their, 20s. In their 20s. Say that. Yeah, that's, that's the correct answer. <laughs> okay, young dudes? 
37, you look great, you're in good shape, single guy. What do you do work-wise? What's the fun part about it? Money. Money? <laughs> <laughs> you can suck dick for more, I'm sure. I don't know, I don't know how much marketing salaries pay, but OnlyFans, I know, I know some bitches who have houses. <laughs> You can sell feet pictures for more? Now this is interesting. <laughs> Have you sold feet pics before? Dirty socks. Yeah. Dirty socks? Yeah. You mail dirty socks to people? For how much? <laughs> Why are you applauding? <laughs> you didn't have to like jerk off into the socks or anything? Like, uh, it was your <laughs> you had to buy Christmas <laughs> gifts. <laughs> <laughs> What did you buy your family? Socks? <laughs> Every kid when they were younger got socks for Christmas and they were like, ah! Now it's an investment. Yeah, what scares you? AIDS! God damn! That was so rude and accurate. He's not fucking Freddie Mercury, dog. <laughs> He's gonna be all right. Are you on prep, Andre? He is. He's doing just fine. Do you know somebody who has AIDS? I'm eight. My roommate had a scare. Sounds like she can speak for herself. Unless she's not strong enough. That's an AIDS accurate joke. Fuck you guys. Like, I brought it up. You know what's funny? I did a whole school shooting joke earlier, and you guys were like, ah! AIDS gets brought up, and people are like, this show is a nightmare. <laughs> Where the fuck is your guys' line? Got me shook a little bit. I should feel comfortable, man. I'm on a fucking set of Back to the Future right now. This is one of the coolest places you can get to perform. Forgive me if I seem a little shaky. I'm doing my best Michael J. Fox impression. <laughs> How do I follow AIDS, you guys? Let me try to get out of it. Jesus Christ, man. Andre. <laughs> Other than AIDS, what, what scares you? Girls? Girls? Ew, right? Some of them are annoying. <laughs> That's what I love about this example, is because if you think about the life of somebody in a wheelchair, that's fucking hard. It's a daily obstacle to overcome to do anything every day. And the fact that they can laugh their way through that we should all be able to. That's what I have so much respect for the wheelchair community. Is because regardless of what they're going through, people in wheelchairs are never annoying about their situation. Until they're getting on the bus. I don't know how many of y'all have been stuck behind a city bus letting somebody in a wheelchair on, but it is fucking excruciating. You're behind them trying to make that right turn and they're fucking Fucker on the bike rack and let's go! <laughs> that is the only time I have ever lost my patience on a handicapped person is when they're fucking up traffic, okay? Other than that, they're angels. I was working on this joke when it was like brand new about like eight weeks ago, right? I was, I was in Arizona, so I'm working on it. I'm trying to make it the best it can be and I can see out of the corner of my eye Front row, left side of the stage, is a young woman in a wheelchair. And I can see, out of my peripheral vision, she's laughing her ass off. She, no, I'm serious, this girl is, she's slapping her knee. She can't feel it, but she's slapping her knee. Like, this bitch is rolling, you know what I mean? She's fucking, ah. ah you know how they be laughing? Ah. ah. Handicapped people laugh like they're getting good head. Just, ah. <laughs> she's, she's so obviously having a great time, right? 
So when the joke was over, it, it dawned on me that I had a very unique opportunity to get an inside perspective on this material. And, and in order for a joke like this to work, it, it has to be funnier than it is offensive. And again, I want it to be. I never want to hurt anybody's feelings. It's, it's just jokes, man. That's, it's, it's as simple as that to me. But I'm always open to conversation. So when the joke was over, I asked her. I was like, out of curiosity, was anything I said in that joke offensive? And still laughing, this woman says, no, 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 no. It was, it was so fucking funny. And, and I want to thank you for including me. I had never, I had never, I had never realized that so many people were so uncomfortable around handicapped people that a lot of the times they won't even laugh about some of the same things they want to laugh about and things that they think are hilarious. So getting that confirmation is what gave me all the confidence I needed to know that these jokes are okay to tell and we are allowed to laugh at them, you know? Her and I... Her and I were on the same page the whole time. We both know that's what you do to vegetables. You roast them. You laugh at that shit, I would never be your friend. Fuck you, dude. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Bro, then I fucked her? That's the crazy thing. It was after the show. Hey! 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 I'm not saying it was me, but she wasn't walking the next day. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I got a fucking cowboy hat in here. What's up, dude? Looking good. Oh, put that back on immediately. <laughs> oh shit, I didn't realize. Oh, I didn't realize I was talking to a thumb. My bad. It's a good look for you, bro. I'm so jealous. I could never wear a cowboy hat, dude. I would I would look like Heath Ledger butt fucks me in a mountain, dude. I look, I look like I have a 10-gallon asshole. <laughs> like I could never pull off some shit like that. You don't have the head for it. I don't have the head for it. Oh, all this hair is that was getting in the way. Sorry. Sorry. Do you, do, you, do, you have, do you have a cowboy job? I do. What do you do? I am an investor in ranching. You're an investor in ranching. <laughs> like the dressing? <laughs> or like farms and shit? Farms and shit? How do you invest in a ranch? Like, you, like what, what are some qualifications? You gotta have the intelligence to invest in a ranch. <laughs> You just gotta sound like that. That's all you gotta do. So what are you looking to do? I tell you what. It's yours. It's yours. As much money as you want. <laughs> oh, man. The accent is so terrifying because like it's so endearing, but like it feels like you could say the M word at any moment. Like, it really could, dude. <laughs> You're terrifying, bro. Getting us in trouble. Getting who in trouble? Us men. Manly men. <laughs> First of all, check your tone, Doug Diggadone. Okay? <laughs> this is right. I'm trying to speak up for us, all right? I'm trying to help us out right now. There's nine of us in here. We need to unite, okay? <laughs> you want weed right there? Can I have it? We don't smoke in Texas. Are you from Texas? Oh, that makes so much more sense, man. I thought you managed a fucking Texas roadhouse nearby or something. But you personally don't smoke? No, sir. Have you ever? I have. I was drunk. You were drunk when you did it? Are you drunk now? <laughs> Double or nothing. You want to hit? Come on, man. Come on. I'm going to toss it to you. Why you treat me like I'm a cop right now? You're like, this is drugs I'm holding right now, and you want to watch me do it? Now make sure you're hitting the right end of it. Don't fucking, don't suck on the USB cord. Oh shit! Oh shit! Hey, stop! 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 Oh no! Oh no! 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 I need you to sign a waiver immediately, dude. 
We just killed a guy, dude. That was way too much. I can't see it. Oh, there we go. Okay, thank you. You know you're still standing, right? We actually didn't get your name. What was it? TC. Okay. You mean like THC? If your middle name is Henry, I'll lose it right now. Are you okay? Careful. What's your middle name, TC? Terry Cunningham, TC. Terry Cunningham. Real quick, what's your social security number? Who gave this to you? A stranger. <laughs> Who's from Texas? Who you think's from Texas, man? <laughs> Sit down, Statue of Liberty. <laughs> You're 65? That... <laughs> we, may, we, can, we can hear you if you sit down. You don't have to keep doing squats, man. The last time somebody was up here like this talking to him, he was in prison. He'd be like, Your Honor, I actually want to have to run. The other wife was 35. <laughs> I wanna, how, was that? February the 7th, I turned 65. And she's 41. And 41? Where did you guys meet? A lot of zeros. A lot of zeros? Do you think he said he bought her, dude? Wow. Some Texas traditions never die. That's crazy. He said, I got a dating app. It's called Chase Bank, bitch. What you doing? What, man? I'm going to say it helped. I'm hung like a mule. <laughs> he said he's hung like a mule. You asked me why I'm 65. She's 41. Four questions ago I asked that. <laughs> why do you deserve this? Are you asking me why I think no. you deserve her? No. That's a deep You're question. Year old. No, I'm asking how you met. I didn't say dessert. It wasn't that deep at all. I guess you don't. <laughs> oh my god. Man. What's up, man? Why are you standing like you're doing magic right now? <laughs> the sweat drop down my balls. All these bitches come. All these people forgot. Hey, look how big this fucking drink is right here. You got, that looks like the shit you throw on a head coach after you win the Super Bowl, bro. You're, yours is a different thing. That's a mule. That's a mule? No, that's a mule. <laughs> You work at Intel as well? Yeah. And you're a witch? Or is he spelling that wrong? <laughs> you're related to John Proctor? Oh, from the Salem Witch Trials. Ooh, have you done any spells? Why don't you, Do you say it, like I don't mind. But we're so toxic lately Don't you waste my time Who you been fucking faking Like I'm not out of sight This love ain't real and we don't feel right It's me or them but you won't decide So won't you let go
Hey. Hey.